What do you think, in your personal opinion, is the worst thing that Dee has ever done? Oh my Hi, I'm Caitlin Olson, and I am in studio with a Hollywood reporter. It's always sunny in Philadelphia, season 14. 14. It is upon us. Yes. And this is a record tying season. Yes, we now are tied with Ozzy and Harriet for longest running live action, action comedy. comedy. Yes. <laughs> no one's going to ever beat The Simpsons. It's not. Yeah, it's, it's just not unattainable. I know. They're, it's like they're immortal or something. I know. I know. We're <laughs> going to try, age. though. But we're going to try. I want to be like the golden girls of inappropriate basic cable comedy. <laughs> That's perfect. Um, is there any news about season 15? I mean, I, I assume that everybody would be excited to break the record. You know, I don't even know if it's about that, but it's just so much fun. I don't think we really ever want to stop doing it. I think that... It's very easy for me to say because I don't produce this show, I don't write it, and I don't edit it. So it's a two and a half month out of the year commitment. So I would do it forever. Yeah. Um, it's more about whether Rob and Charlie feel like they want right. to jump right back into the writer's room and Glenn. Um, and, uh, you know, it's a lot. They put a lot of pressure on themselves to make really great quality episodes. And sometimes yeah. you need a little bit of a break. Yeah. But hopefully we'll take a break and come back. Well, let's talk about this season. Okay. Um, so, okay, so I've watched a few of the episodes. Um, I assume there might be some that you would be excited for the world to see. Are there any that you were particularly excited about? Uh, yes. There is an episode called uh, A Woman's Right to Chop, which is all about how the guys think that women shouldn't be getting very, very short haircuts because they don't like it and they have to look at it so they should have an input on whether or not women should be able to do that. And I love that one very, very much. Um, there's an episode where we tackle climate change that cracks me up. Um, oh, excellent. And then we do a film noir episode this year just because we always like to just some, do something weird to mix yeah, it up to yeah. keep ourselves um, entertained and that one's really fun. Oh, and Dolph Lundgren. Oh, yes. Can we talk about that? Did you get to meet Dolph Lundgren? Or I didn't was that get all? to meet him. <sighs> I was like the one day that I didn't work. He was so dreamy though, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. That was really exciting. I actually very much enjoyed that episode just because uh, of um, the whole idea of focus grouping uh -huh. maximum thunder. <laughs> maximum <laughs> thunder gun. Thunder Ma gun. <laughs> maximum maximum cool. cool. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. I mean, I love any like send up of the of the movie industry because yeah. right now it is so rife for um, I mean it's so easy to make fun of it just because it's gotten so sequely and so crazy yes. and out of control well and also because um, you know we're very good friends with the creators of Game of Thrones and I loved Game of Thrones so much and it was so ridiculous to me the outcry over Fine, you didn't like the finale. Okay. <laughs> Demanding they rewrite and reshoot the finale is the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. Just some random people who don't know how to write demanding that it could be done better is so funny to me, so I like that. So one of the things about It's Always Sunny that uh, is great is that the characters don't change. They don't ever learn anything. They don't ever evolve. Mm -hmm. But you've been inhabiting this role for over a decade, and mm -hmm. the gang has been creating together for over a decade. So what has evolved on the show if the characters aren't evolving? Yeah, I, well, I think that, you know, that fifth or sixth character is really the city of Philadelphia and the environment. And I we really like exploring how that's evolving and how we're trying to adapt to it while holding on to um, this idea that we have zero desire to change. Right, um, right. And that's really funny to me. And I love the idea that Danny really just represents what we're going to turn into. I mean, <laughs> it, hopefully n nobody grows or evolves. It, m Rob gets asked this question a lot because his character is now gay, but the beautiful thing about um, Mac is that he's still Mac, and even though he's gay, he's still <laughs> fiercely Catholic and does not believe. I mean, it's, it's the, the, the struggle there is so much more fun to watch now that he's come out, um, right. and he's still, you know, a despicable person. Yes, he's still actively torturing himself. Yes, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> he just now thinks that everyone wants to see him without his shirt, and we don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, so w we all want a season 15 to happen. So how do we get the ball rolling on that campaign? Is there anything in the news that would 
pique your interest always. for season 15. <laughs> I mean, things are happening right now that I feel like. There's always something happening in the news. Um, I, I think whether we did it now or waited a year or waited until 2020, which would be very interesting, um, there's always going to be something that we can satirize. I feel like really Rudy Giuliani needs to be like related. Oh, to oh, oh I mean, please don't do that to me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe someone that we model after Rudy Giuliani. Rudy <laughs> Giuliani type. He's despicable, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> the show gets to be amazingly inappropriate, um, and it gets away with it. Mm -hmm. Why do you think it gets away with it, whereas other shows get called out for being crazy, crazy disgusting? <laughs> That's a really good question, and we get asked that a lot. I'm not sure I know the answer. I think it might be because we started doing this when we've taken a year off, a year or two off? We've been, we started doing this 15 years ago. Right. Um, and not a lot of people were doing it. And I think the reason we get away with it is because we are clearly not advocating for this behavior. We're, we're very clearly calling this behavior out as right. ludicrous. And because, um, you know, we are really pointing out, making fun of, I sounds kind of mean, but I think we really, I, I am <laughs> making fun of extremes on both on all sides right right so I don't you know there are a lot of people who come up and they're like that's so cool you're making fun of those snowflake liberals and we're like are we and then there's people like oh it's great the like the, you that you guys are like bashing conservatives and it's like if you really watch it we're just we're we're looking at human behavior and how right. reprehensible it can be um, when you go to the extreme and you are completely narcissistic and not f worried about the greater good. Right, because as we know from Sunny, from Veep, and from Curb Your Enthusiasm, mm -hmm. selfishness yeah. is a human behavior yeah. not attached to any political side. That's right. That's exactly <laughs> right. And when you take it to the extreme, it's absolutely ridiculous. And people yeah. who really, really firmly stand behind and defend that behavior is just funny. Okay, so the last question to you, um, and this is going to be a hard one, okay. but what do you think, in your personal opinion, is the worst thing that D has ever done? Oh my, the worst thing D's ever done. Um, maybe, oh gosh, put shoe polish on a baby because a, a black baby is more <laughs> desirable and more expensive than a white baby? Maybe? I don't know. There's a lot to choose from, but that's the first thing that popped I, into my head. That's pretty, that's pretty, <laughs> Pretty bad. Yeah, I have two babies now, so it's, yeah. that's a bad idea. <laughs> Do you think you're going to let your kids watch the show? Oh my gosh, so my nine-year-old has been begging for two years, and literally <laughs> just last week I let him watch most of D-Day, Uh huh. and he was beside himself. Uh. <laughs> but he's been stealing scripts and reading them behind uh. my back for a while, apparently. And so he's at a great age where it's like we can talk about right. swearing. He can swear at home as much as he wants just to practice and get out of his system. He knows, doesn't ever do it at school. It's really just there's certain subject matter I, he doesn't really even know about in the yeah. world yet that I don't want him, don't yeah. want to protect him from. But there's a lot that he actually can watch. And my kids are really funny and have a really good sense of humor. So that's, I love that you asked that because that actually just started. That might be happening every Wednesday night. I love that your kids are... Um, getting excited about the business. Do you think they're going to no, go into the business? I don't think so, and I really hope not. I, I think, do they think it's ridiculous what mommy and daddy do? They don't really care, they just like craft services. <laughs> they come and there's like, what, yeah, cool, where's the snacks? And I'm like, no, I'm about to do a really funny scene. Do you want to see it? And they're like, we would love to get some M&Ms. Is that a, <laughs> an option? <laughs> um, I, I, you know what? They get they get excited every time the billboards go up. There's like a billboard okay. on the way to school. They're proud. They're proud of us, yeah, which is kind of cool. But other than that, I don't think they care. Uh, all right. Well, we're very much looking forward to a season 15. Fingers crossed. My fingers and are crossed, too. happy to watch the rest of season 14 on FX and FXX. Hope you like it.